guys yes i have lived in this country for five years and i still hadn't come to the great wall can you imagine today i'm going to be climbing the great wall and i am delighted i am so grateful for this opportunity to be able to make it to this place it's currently about eight o'clock in the morning we decided to come early morning because we are at the great wall at badaling and it gets really crowded sometimes but it looks like today there are not too many people and the weather is great too it's quite cloudy it's not too hot so it's the perfect weather for hiking please subscribe to my youtube channel i make videos about my life and experiences as a black girl living in china now we're gonna go and buy the tickets and then head straight inside so without wasting much time let's go entrance and I just noticed there's a board here that tells us that there is the south side of the wall and the north side of the wall. We can't decide which side to go to because honestly speaking both sides look really really good but I feel like just from looking the views would be better on the north whereas my friend here thinks the wall the views would be better on the south so we're quickly gonna play a game of rock paper scissors and decide which side we're gonna go to okay are you ready okay let's go rock paper scissors shoot it's the north about the history of the Great Wall. It was built over a very long period of time, over hundreds of years. And the building actually started around 771 BC, all the way up to 200 BC, back when the Qin Dynasty was reigning in China. So it was actually built for the purpose of protection. It was built as a fort, and they had to protect the emperor and the Qin Dynasty from intrusions from nomads up north from Inner Mongolia. The wall is actually over 21,000 kilometers long so it is very very long guys and just looking at how it's set up and all the stones and the way it just goes and spirals I am in so much awe because I just think about how the people built the wall back in the day and by the way it is still the same wall that was built several thousand years ago even though there are some areas that were destroyed because of erosion and weather and that have been rebuilt to recreate exactly how it was like in the beginning so it's it still remains the same monument that has been there over the period of years. So because it's very long, there's so many sections of the Great Wall, but there are four main sections that have been specialized for tourism. We're currently at the Badaling section of the wall, and that is the most popular because the views here are spectacular. There are so many tourists that come here. Like I said in the beginning, we chose a good time because at the moment, it's not very convenient to come to Beijing. I am not going to lie to you. And a lot of things have changed after COVID and all these things and we just literally came out of a wave just two weeks ago so it's not the best time for tourists to come here but we took our chances and we managed to make it and it's worth it it's not too packed usually bottling is super super packed with tourists and so many people
So there are toilets available as you climb the wall and you ever want to use the toilets. There are so many different spots that have stops where you can use the toilets. And if you get tired and you can't walk anymore, you can also use the descending cable cars. You have to pay for them though. I'm not sure how much they are and I'm not sure if we're going to use them. Are we? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, so you can always use the descending cable cars if you want to go down the wall. are really really steep guys as you guys can see they're very very steep and they're also quite uneven so make sure you wear comfortable shoes i am wearing my jordan 4s they're super comfy you don't want to come here with shoes that are going to make your feet sore or shoes that feel uncomfortable generally it's pretty pretty steep and sometimes quite uneven too yeah the stairs are very steep, very, very steep, but we're going. Going down is definitely more annoying, especially when the terrain is like this. I prefer going down the stairs because it feels so slippery. Not slippery, but you can easily slide down. My shoes obviously have good grip, so I won't slide, but I definitely prefer going up going down is so annoying if i ever get the chance to come back again i would definitely try out a different section of the wall and probably try out more activities like using the descending cable carts or the train as well there's a train i saw just on there there was a railway so i'll definitely try that and i'd also love to go to the other side of the wall all right guys we would love to keep going but the sun keeps getting hotter it's getting unbearable and i just checked on my watch we have done about 2.4 kilometers which is quite a lot guys let me show you where we just came from so we started from down there we climbed all the way up to there and now we're coming down it's quite a long walk guys i'm super proud of how much we've come and I'm happy to say I was at the Great Wall. Okay guys, we're still going and now the sun is out out and I think piece of advice make sure when you come to the great wall you need to come either very early in the morning to catch the sunrise or come much later in the afternoon to catch the sunset because it's getting really really hot and unfortunately i forgot my sunglasses i forgot my sun hat and i'm seeing a lot of people even have umbrellas it's super super essential it's getting really hot and we would love to keep climbing some more but the heat, cha, we're gonna start going down now. guys we have come to the exit i am exhausted the heat the heat is heating <laughs> literally it's so hot guys you need to come here in the morning or at the end of the day anyway i'm also hungry it's about 12 22 now we've been here for over four hours 
by the way if you come here and you forgot to buy snacks you don't need to worry there are a lot of stores there's some right here the entrance and even up the wall i saw um at some exits there were a few stops where you can buy water juice snacks but this is a tourist attraction guys shit is expensive water like a bottle of water cost 15 yuan 15 yuan who wants to pay 15 yuan for water not me so while i eat guys i think i should tell you the most important tips to remember when you're coming to the great wall number one remember to carry your sunscreen remember to carry your sunglasses remember to carry your sun hat or umbrella because beijing is hot especially if you're coming right now in the summer you need not to forget that. Also, for those wondering, tickets to get in to see the Great Wall are 40 yuan, which is quite affordable. I think it's so worth it. Cheap, actually, for the experience. I actually expected it to be more expensive, but it was just 40 yuan. And in order to get here, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, you can get a bus or a train. There's a train S2 or something. I'm gonna leave the name somewhere up here. You can get a train to come here, but the problem is tickets are usually sold out and I think it can only come after seven, right? And we wanted to be here earlier. So we, we were able to book a taxi where we're able to carpool with a couple of other people to make it cheaper. So you can definitely do that. We, normal taxi or DD to get here costs nearly 300 yuan because this place is really far. Great Wall is located outside of Beijing. So it's pretty far, about 70 kilometers from town, right? Yeah, it's really, really far. So you might want to carpool. I think it's very convenient. For carpooling, we paid about 150, which is half the price of a taxi or a DD. So that's another tip. Right now we're trying to order another car to go back. It's not easy though to find one, but we're still waiting while we chill and have some snacks. But yeah, overall guys, I had a great time. I am so happy to finally be ticking off the Great Wall from my bucket list. 10 out of 10 experience. I would love to come back again. As I mentioned earlier on, I would love to come back and climb another side of the wall or just a different experience. There's so much to do here, guys. There's a section, um, should be Mutenyu. There's a section where you can do water sports and ride down water slides and so many other things that you can do. I wish we had done that. I hope to come back and do that next time for sure, for sure. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do give it a big fat, thick thumbs up so that more people can actually get to see this video. It helps my channel a lot when you guys do that. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel for more China content. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.